Hey everybody, CK here. And oh, wait, 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 wait. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. A. Hey, that's how we do. A. Hey, snake on them. A. A. Anyway, hey everybody, CK here. And here's the part I love where you can join in. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Picky, 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 picky. That, okay, so I got a question, right? Two things on, I think it was on Facebook or something. I don't know, but I got a couple questions. One was, what in the world is Picky Picky? That's me scratching the record. Picky, 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 picky. Okay, I'm a DJ. Okay, that's what we do. <laughs> and then, I'm just kidding about the DJ. And then the other question was, what does bars mean? So whenever y'all hear me say, I got bars, and I didn't even try to, bars, bars, hashtag bars, that means that I'm rhyming. That, because I used to be a rapper, like back in the day, and it still comes, you know, up and out in my videos. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am going to do a twofer. And, you know, I think I'm going to do a live video today. So I'll, if I do the live video, I'm trying to see how my time is looking. But if I get a chance to do the live video, I will attach it somewhere up and through here. But make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, girl, because I don't want you to miss a beat. I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay. I do not want you to have, like, how can I say this? We don't want you to have FOMO, fear of missing out. Don't miss out, girl. <laughs> so um, so just subscribe to the channel, okay? Because we would love to have you as a part of the fam bam. Now, I'm doing a twofer because I'm actually going to be doing a video on this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Cover Foundation. If you follow me on Instagram, Seeky underscore beauty, then you guys went with me to Ulta and I showed you me getting it. But then after that, pause for the cause. Makeup Revolution. They actually sent me a whole box of all of the foundations. What you say? I'm gonna be doing swatches of the shades that I have. I don't know that I have all of the shades cause I know their stock was running low, but I will definitely swatch mine, which is F13 and I will swatch the others. Well, yeah, I guess I'll swatch it too, but you're gonna see me apply it. So that's gonna be a separate video. And I'm also gonna do an eye look because I have been getting a lot of requests on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook, everywhere about makeup tutorials because I haven't really been doing a lot. And I'm trying to play catch up because I was not feeling well earlier this week. And um, uh, that's why we're going to do a live video because I told y'all I'm going to do a video every single week and I don't want to miss a beat. You know what I mean? I don't want FOMO. <laughs> and so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to hit you with some makeup looks and let me tell you this too i did get some lashes i got a package of lashes i went to the makeup show la too so i got a lot a lot a lot of stuff which is another reason i'm gonna do a live video but i got some lashes from stalazi which i think i'm gonna rock these today if it's not too much for the look i'm doing i got a whole box now i've had this for like a month i got a whole box of ardell lashes like a lot like it's deep deeper than the something of atlantis whatever that song was, but it's all the way to the bottom of the box. Come through LA, hey! But Ardell, they came through. It's full, it's full to capacity. Then I also got some lashes. Let me show you here too. Oh, it's not in that drawer, next. Okay, but I do wanna show, I mean, I do wanna tell you that I've been loving Ardell, I've been loving Stilazzi, and I also told you guys about another lash company or lash brand in my last live, I think it was, and it's called Noir Lashes. So I will put all of those eyelash companies in the description box, all right? And Noir Lashes is actually a small business, and you guys know that Small Business Saturday is coming up. So, you know, support the small businesses. Now, without further ado, oh, and um, what else was I going to tell you? I met with the Veil Cosmetics, y'all. So we are going to use their primer. It's called Sunset Light. And the Veil Cosmetics, y'all, they gave me foundation. They gave me concealer, all that. Pacifica Beauty. I just, it's so much to tell you guys. So that's why I got to do a live. Because time will not permit in this video. Plus, I got my live jewelry party. Peep it. A, A, A is coming. So Stila, I got this from the Makeup Show LA too. And I'm going to use this baby. I may use some shadow over it, I don't know. But I've never used their um, liquid shadow, right? It's called Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Bars. That's an example of bars, okay? And so that's what that looks like. And I just wanted to match my necklace with the little gunmetal situation. And so I have no idea what the heck I'm about to do. 
<laughs> no, let me take that back. I have an idea. I just don't know how it's going to work out. Right. But listen, it's only makeup and we can fix it. We could be like Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Hey. All right. So first, I think I'm going to go into Coco Bear. And I used a new um, brush cleaner by this company called Cosette. And so I heard people say Cosetti too. So I'm hoping that it doesn't leave oil residue because I'm scared. No, I'm not scared. I take that back. I'm just hoping that it works out for us, the both of us, for me and this look and for you guys watching. <laughs> so I'm using Cocoa Bear because it's a love thing. And I usually do use Cocoa Bear as a base, especially I do like the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, the, I forgot that one in the white palette and then the vault one that's called ring the alarm or bling the alarm. I don't really remember anymore because everything is associated with bling <laughs> for me these days, but I think it's ring the alarm. Okay. But, um, I don't want anything really reddish, right? Because we're doing like a cool tone. eye look today. So I'm trying to just stick with something that is not as reddish, even though Cocoa Bear gives me a little bit of red. It's not too bad. I'm all up in your grill today too because y'all were like, when you do your eye look and stuff like that there, can you come closer? I'm in your grill, girl. We here. I'm here. And yeah, and Pete my little YouTube and paparazzi situation. Yes, girl. Yes, girl, yes. Yes, please, yes. So lately what I've been doing, but we're gonna bypass that today. I have been using the LA Girl Primer and I've been putting it on my lid right here to make like the colors pop and stuff. No matter what I'm using, even if I'm using a liquid eyeshadow, I've been putting it like right there to kind of outline where I wanted the color to go. But I'm not about to get up and get that right now. Like I thought I was ready, but it's over there and I'm not about to get it. So we're just gonna go for what we know. And hey, if we make a mistake, we're gonna fix it. Because I usually do it to outline where I want to put the shadow, but <sighs> Lord help. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I forgot to tell you the shade. It is called, um, haha. -ha. It's called Vivid, Vivid Labradite, Lab whatever. I'm going to put that in, uh-uh. Especially with contacts, I'm going to put that down later. Ooh, that's ice, ice, baby. Is that I have to go up there, Okay for it to really show because I don't have a whole lot of lid space. Oh, and don't look down when you use these things, Lord. So I go right here and I go up high. I go over my lid. We don't have to go through this twice. Let's just do the other one now. And lately I've been putting eyeshadow over the top of it, but I think this is good enough. I don't think I really need to do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is, um, still looking down, it's still feeling kind of wet. I don't feel like this dries really fast though. So now what I'm going to do, it really makes that the reddish color come out in that, um, color that I use. So I just take this pointed blending brush and I've been using Americano like right here in the outer V and I've been taking it like right up there. We're going to use a different Brown as well. And then this gives it that definition on the outer V. We're gonna have to clean up on aisle seven. This brush is so freaking squeaky clean. I think that it's not holding the product. It's like, it's dropping off. I think that I'm gonna go into my Morphe palette, my Morphe, um, my Morphe 35O palette. I don't know how I'm feeling about this liquid eyeshadow. I heard that they were like super the business, but I'm looking like I'm crackalacking right now. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go into this color Rich by um, Morphe. And I'm going to just go on top of that, like a little like this, just a little to kind of knock out that Cocoa Bear reddish. But I don't want it super dark. So I'm blending with a light hand and tapping it on my paper towel that's on me right now. I really like to put an eyeshadow on top, but it's okay. So now we're going to go into Universal which is my favorite brow bone highlight. And I promise you guys, I think this is why YouTubers do their face first because it the when you do the face, it totally makes the eye look come together like a lot. But I don't like to do that because I know that I can be messy. And if I'm messy, you know, sometimes people bake under here and just wipe away the makeup. Baking is not for me. We already talked about that. So that's not an option for me. So I would rather do the canvas later. All right, so then what I'm gonna do 
on this part, which I'm just going to like come on back real quick is I'm gonna put this liner on. And all I'm gonna do is just put it to where you can see a little bit of the liner. We're not winging it out, we're not doing anything like that. We're just adding a little bit of definition to where it kinda looks sorta like a tight line. That's it, but y'all, this eyeshadow, I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan. And if I, I'm going to tell you, once we're off camera, I'm going to find a um, silver eyeshadow and probably pop it on. Now I'm going to take some black liner. This is Max uh, Feline Co. I'm going to take this little eyeshadow brush. I don't even know what it is. LA Girl 206. Tiny little eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go into Americano. And then I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit. Now you guys, when you get your look done... And you see it maybe it's not blended a little bit right here like you want it to be. Just go in and fix it. And I tend to do that at the very end when like everything is on. I take another look, see how it's going on. And then if I want to make like alterations, I do so. Now I'm going to see if these lashes by Stalazi called Vegas Baby, if they're going to work with this look or if it's a little too much. Although I don't mind being extra girl, but let's see if y'all can handle it. Linda, Linda, listen, we're doing it. Mm. And I'm probably gonna take this out as well because I am gonna be way out of focus when I'm doing these lashes for sure, for sure. And then um, this is pretty much, I will show you like the end all be all of this eye look once I get the foundation and stuff on. But the foundation part of it, it's gonna be in a like whole nother video. A whole new world <laughs> because we're gonna be talking about this foundation and I've already worn this foundation a couple of times so I'm gonna actually give my spiel on it girl mm -hmm. like really like seriously told you girl told you uh, when you get the lashes on it's popping but the makeup is gonna be popping too but I think what I'm gonna do bars is I did pick up this like Lorac I forget what they call this palette. I don't remember what the name of it was, y'all. Like, I don't know what it was called. Lorac 3, Lorax, I don't know. So I'm gonna go into their charcoal color and I'm gonna put a little bit of that under here too. Now, I was thinking about going on top of my lid with this silver, but that's a bit bright. I don't know. Let's try it. Like what? What? We're gonna go with it because I feel like I see some of my eyelid coming through. So I'm gonna take this silver shade Ooh, and that's what I'm about to do. Just put a little bit on top. Pause for the cause. Just real quick. I totally forgot that this Lorac Pro palette has major fallout, you guys. So when doing this, put your lashes on after, okay? I totally forgot. Another trick is to take a selfie with your eyes closed and it'll show you, but Avi, I forgot to do that too. But it's all good. I still slay, girl, A. Hey. And usually you should do this when it's still wet, not when it's dry. I am so not doing this in any kind of order, guys. But I just wanted it a little more icy. Ice, ice, baby. Wow! Now it's not really going with the gunmetal so much, huh? It's all good. It's all to the good. So just go around that again, like so. And then take that other one that you used right here for that outer V. And I just kind of do it as an angle, right? Like a slant right there. Now I'm, I'm in a hurry. So that's why I'm like, well, I don't have the time to make sure it's all super duper perfect. But to be honest with you, like once you see this look and once your foundation and everything is on, people are not paying that close attention. Okay. So it's okay. It is okay if it's not perfect, honey. Like that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's good enough. I'm moving on. This is the final look and I simply, I told you guys if you want to see everything that I have on the face, then you guys can watch that video. It's on the Makeup Revolution. Not just the foundation, y'all, but I hit you with the concealer too. Plaque out, which I already have a video all about the concealers. So I just wanted to tell you guys that I am, you know, that's pretty much what's on the face. Y'all know I got the Beverly Hills Highlighter, Ofra, Tiki, use a code, say Lenny, girl, got you. And then the lippy, this is actually Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline. And I have a lip swatch video on this. Minnie me and I did it. And I know y'all want her to come back, y'all. I know it. But 
it's hard to coordinate our schedules. So I'm trying because I have a whole bunch of lipsticks, but this is called Protector and I already did a swatch video. It's called Superstay. And so this is the final look, guys. So make sure that you thumbs this video up, okay? Which means like it. And then share the video, you guys. I totally appreciate when you guys share it. When you thumbs it up, it all helps. It helps spread the love. It helps spread the joy. It helps spread the knowledge. Do your part, girl. Hey, I appreciate you. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. See, key beauty makeover.